Hey trackers, out here in the forest today and underneath this Douglas fir tree I am seeing a whole bunch of clipped twigs. So notice all these green twigs that are on the ground. And um, this is pretty much the uh, end of winter, beginning of spring. And who would be clipping twigs off of a tree and dropping them down to the forest floor? You can see that they're just coated with the uh, with these fallen twigs all over here. You see fallen twigs. So you can see on the ends here how cleanly these have been cut right off the tree. And they have been cut off with the teeth of a squirrel. So we have both Douglas squirrel and western gray squirrel here as well as flying squirrels. And um, I know Douglas squirrels do this. I'm not sure about the gray squirrels as far as uh, clipping off small branches like this. They will take bigger ones but um, both of those tree squirrels have a habit of clipping off branches. Now what are they after? Let me grab a branch and show So right here you can see an empty sheath and over here you can see one that has still the um, little uh, pollen cone in there and um, this is what they're after. These little bud-like things. So this is the part that they're eating. This is the pollen cone and these ones have not been consumed yet so this is just to show you what they look like before the squirrels have fed upon them. This is food for squirrels right here. Pollen cones of a Douglas fir tree. And here are the empty husks of one that has been fed upon. And you can see all the pollen cones are missing off this one because the squirrel is fed on them. And all they leave behind are the, the little husks, those leaves at the base of the, of the, uh, the pollen cone itself. And so um, this is what they are doing when they clip these branches off the tree because these grow at the very tips of the branch and what the squirrels do is they clip them off, drop them to the ground, and then they go down to the ground and harvest them and, and eat them there. So they uh, they can't really uh, sit up in the tree and grab them because the, the little tiny branches aren't going to support the weight of a squirrel. So they have to drop them to the ground where they gather them later. And that's why the forest floor here at the base of this Douglas fir tree is just covered with um, clipped branches that have been um, gnawed off the tree and drop to the ground where the squirrels can feed on them. So this is a common sign in spring and that's because that's when those pollen cones are growing on the trees. So Douglas fir trees provide food in the form of pollen cones and later on in the year um, the squirrels will be able to feed upon the actual cones and get the seeds that are under those in the fall. There you have it, sign from squirrels. This is a feeding sign.